Hey everybody, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys the best OBS settings for recording in 2024. Before the video starts, make sure to smash that subscribe button. So yeah, let's jump right into the video. First, start off by opening the settings down in the bottom right corner of OBS. Select the output tab on the side, head up to the output mode and set it to advanced, then select the recording tab. Click the browse button, then select a folder for your videos to save to. If you have an internal hard drive that isn't your boot drive, then I recommend using it to prevent any issues. For recording format, use MP4. If you're only recording shorter videos, around 10 minutes or less. If you're recording longer videos or really can't afford losing the footage, then use the MKV option. If you're using MKV, you'll need to convert or remux your recordings to MP4. I'll show you how to remux videos automatically later on in the video. Next, Set your video encoder to NVIDIA NVENC H.264 or AMD HWH.264 if you have it. Select either option depending on the GPU that you have, NVIDIA for NVIDIA graphics cards and AMD for AMD GPUs. Otherwise, you may go with X264 or software only. Set audio encoder to FFmpeg AAC, then leave rescale unchecked. Custom muxer settings blank and uncheck automatic file splitting. Next. Head down to the encoder settings and set rate control to CQP. Set the CQ level to 15 or 16 if you're recording in 1080p. And by the way, the lower the CQ level, the better quality your recordings will be, but the larger the file size. For 1440p and 4K recordings, use 18. Set keyframe interval to 2. Set preset to better quality and set tuning to high quality. For multi-pass mode, use two passes quarter resolution. Now, there isn't much of a difference between the two, but full resolution is slightly better for quality, set profile to high, then uncheck look ahead and enable psycho visual tuning. Set GPU to zero and max B frames to two, apply to save your settings. Select audio from the side, set sample rate to 48 kilohertz if it isn't already, then set channels to stereo, expand the first desktop audio option and set it to default or the audio device you use for all of your sounds and that it's what's going to be heard in your recordings. In most cases, you will only have one desktop audio output device. However, if your headset has separate outputs for game and chat, then be sure to add the other here. Select a mic slash auxiliary audio menu, set it to your microphone, apply, then next go to video settings. Set base canvas resolution to your screen's resolution. This is the size of your OBS canvas and we'll just adjust a preview. If you're not sure of your screen's resolution, then click the Windows key and search for display settings and go to your display resolution. It should say recommended next to it. Typically, it will be 1920 by 1080. All right, head back to the OBS studio, set the output or scaled resolution to the resolution you're recording in. Again, this is typically 1920 by 1080 or 1080p. If you're recording in a lower resolution than your base resolution, then set the downscale filter to Langzos, set the frame rate to common FPS values and use 60. Now, if you have a low-end PC or you're not recording gameplay or high-speed footage, then you can use 30. Apply the settings and go to the advanced tab options. For process priority, I recommend leaving it at normal. If you experience laggy recordings, then you can try setting it to above normal, but this may result in lower FPS or drop frames when playing games. For the video options, I leave these on default. You can copy these if yours are different. Under the recording options is the option to automatically remux to MP4. If you're recording in NKV, then you want to enable this so your videos convert automatically. Otherwise, please leave it turned off. Click apply, then close the settings. And that would be it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. Make sure to leave a like and smash your subscribe button as it really helps me out. Also, we're really close to 2,000 subscribers and a subscription would be really, really appreciated. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned and peace out.